Hello, I'm going to go ahead and do a quick tutorial on the rotoscope neon line effect that people are loving on Instagram right now. Here's a quick little sample of what it can look like. Oops, I'm going to do it a little differently, but it'll be the same concept. It's pretty easy. So let's start a new project. I already have. Then I'm going to go ahead and import my clip. It's going to be a clip of my buddy Dom, nose pressing a rainbow rail at North Star. So take that, drag it down to our project, and here's our clip. Pretty easy, nose press back one. New, solid, so go here, right click, new, solid. I'm gonna make the color green. Okay, that all looks great to me. Now, step one, come down here, expand these tabs, change my opacity to 85%. I like the way it looks in the final product, and it makes it easy to see what's going on behind your solid. So I'm gonna have the line draw in on the rail behind him as he slides it. So it's gonna start here. So step one, I'm gonna go ahead and delete all of that, because we don't need it. Step two, three, whatever step one, who cares? Who's counting? I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in a little bit. And I'm gonna have the line drop from back here. So grab your pen tool. Oops, I don't know what the fuck happened there. Click on your layer with your pen tool. And draw your line where you want it to be. Doops. And I'm gonna add one in the middle here, so it's got a little bit of curvature. This will come into play a lot more later. If you want straight lines like squares or rectangles, uncheck Roto Bezier before you start drawing. If you want it to generate curves automatically, which I do for this particular effect, enable Roto Bezier. I like it, it helps smooth things out. If you use enough points, you can clean it up really nicely. So, our next step is we're gonna be on green solid. I'm going to go to effect controls for some reason. And then I'm going to go to effect up here at the top. Generate. And we're going to generate a stroke. Boom. Done. Okay. Now, come here in our effect controls. Paint style. We're going to reveal original image. This will mask so that only our green will show up where our stroke is. Next thing I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to expand my stroke until it's about the size of my rail. Uh, depending on your effect, you can do whatever you want with it. Make it small, make it big, make it tiny, thick, fat, less hard, more hard. Play with these settings. It's your. That's up to you. Now, my next step is I'm going to go ahead and effect. And I'm going to stylize. And I'm going to glow. And this will give it that glowing neon effect that everybody's fucking super into right now. And this can take a second to play with. I'm going to be honest, it's uh, a bit of a finicky effect, so this might get edited out. Okay, so I got the glow effect where I liked it. One thing I recommend changing is the alpha channel, color channels setting. That kind of gives it a more uh, embossed effect. Whatever. So that's how I wanted it. You can play with it however you want. So from here on out, basically what we're going to do is draw the mask in place. So expand your masks. And we're going to click the stopwatch next to mask path. That's going to make it so on every frame it will draw the mask and update its drawing. And I'm going to move it, I'm going to grab this dot, drag it over here, give it a little bit of curve so it matches the rainbow rail, and I'm going to keep this lined up with this vertical support on the skirting of the rail, this leg of the rail, so that I always have it in the right place. And basically the front is going to follow him until he gets off the rail. Should be a cool effect. And now comes the really, really fun part of doing all this. One more thing I recommend is coming down here um, and clicking the position stopwatch because if I drag this whole thing like that, if I, like that, if I drag the whole layer, uh, if you don't have that clicked in, it'll mess up your whole thing. So 
I recommend doing that. You might uh, you might not even use it. You might use it. Who cares? Okay, this will probably be a little bit. I went through and animated all that. You probably saw a fast forward of it, or maybe you didn't. Who knows? So here's the clip. Okay, so one more thing I'll show you is if I want it to change colors. Let's say when he 180's out, I want it to flash blue and green for some reason. So what I'm gonna do is right click on the layer, go to layer styles, color overlay, <clears throat> and it's gonna do that awesomeness where it changes it straight to red. So I'm gonna come down here in our drop downs under uh, just layer styles, color overlay, Loop blend mode normal, and the color we will make. Let's make it not a super obnoxious blue. Yeah, that works a little bit. And then I'm gonna go back to where I want the overlay to not exist. So right here, the stopwatch next to opacity, zero percent. So it's still green. He hops off, and now it's blue. Let's say I want it to flash, so we'll do two frames. We'll go back. So make sure to hit this little button to add a key frame so that it stays. So if you don't add that keyframe in the middle, it'll do this thing where, because I just want to flash out a lot, transition slowly. So here we go. So green, blue, blue for one more frame, then we'll go back to green, we'll add a green for two, one, two, green, frame number three, blue, fine but that's how you do that effect there you go hope you guys enjoyed hope it was useful have a nice day bye